Hello, in this video we are going to compare between 31 to the power of 11 or 17 to the power of 14 and we are going to find out which of these numbers is actually the bigger number. Now this is the method that I'm going to use. Instead of 31 here, I will look for the next available even number which is 32. And we know that 32 is greater than 31. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to rewrite this 32 in index form, which is simply 2 to the power of 5. So that means 2 to the power of 5 is greater than 31. Now, that also means if I have 2 to the power of 5 to the power of 11, it's also greater than 31 to the power of 11. Now, let me apply this index rule if you have a to the power of n, all to the power of m, this equals a to the power of n times m. So, if I multiply these two exponents, I'm going to have 2 to the power of 55. This simply means 2 to the power of 55 is greater than 31 to the power of 11. Now, let's also consider the other number. Here we have 17 to the power of 14. So, we have 17 to the power of 14. And I will also make use of the next available even number. And that will be 16 because I can as well express 16 in index form as 2 to the power of 4. So I'll make use of 16. Now, 17 is actually greater than 16. Meaning that 17 is greater than 2 to the power of 4. So, it simply means 17 to the power of 14 is greater than 2 to the power of 4 all to the power of 14. Now we are also going to make use of this identity as well. If you have a to the power of n, all to the power of m equals a to the power of n times m. So let's multiply 4 times 14 we are going to have 56, meaning that 17 to the power of 14 is greater than 2 to the power of 56. Have you seen that? Now, let's make our logical conclusion. If, let me make a space, if 17 to the power of 14 is greater than 2 to the power of 56, and let's get back to what we got here. And 2 to the power of 55 is greater than 3 to the power of 31 to the power of 11. And 2 to the power of 55 is greater than 31 to the power of 11. Now, we also know that Look at what we have gotten here. 17 to the power of 14 is greater than 2 to the power of 56. And 2 to the power of 55 is greater than 31 to the power of 11. That means it is obvious that 2 to the power of 56 is greater than 2 to the power of what? 55. If 17 is greater than 2 to the power of 56, and 2 to the power of 56 is greater than 2 to the power of 55, and 2 to the power of 55 is greater than 31 to the power of 11. It simply means 17 to the power of 14 is greater than 31 to the power of 11. I believe you have gotten the logic here. Let me go again once more time. If 17 to the power of 14 is greater than 2 to the power of 56, then 2 to the power of 56, let me get to this one, is greater than 2 to the power of 55. 
and 2 to the power of 55 is greater than 31 to the power of 11. That means 17 to the power of 14 is greater than 31 to the power of 11. In fact, it simply means amongst all these numbers here, 17 to the power of 14 is actually the greatest and 31 to the power of 11 is the smallest. So that's what we have gotten down here. 17 to the power of 14 is greater than 31 to the power of 11. And that is it for the video. Thank you and goodbye.